Hi, my name is Samir Desai, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to identify reducing and oxidizing agents. Oxidation reduction, or redox reactions, are reactions that are characterized by the transfer of electrons from one species to another. For this to occur, the reaction must contain both an oxidizing and reducing agent. A reducing agent is a reactant that will be oxidized. Oxidized indicates a loss of electrons, and if you forgot this, make sure you remember the mnemonic Leo the Lion says Gur. Leo means loss of electrons, oxidation. Since the reducing agent is a losing electrons, those electrons can be donated to another compound, which will gain electrons, Gur, gain of electrons reduction. Typical reducing agents include metals and metal hydrides, like lithium aluminum hydride and sodium borohydride. Notice the bonds to hydrogen and the lack of bonds to oxygen. This is expected because a reducing agent has a lower oxidation state. Of the two reducing agents, sodium borohydride is a good reducing agent, but not as powerful as lithium hydride. For example, if we had an aldehyde or ketone react with sodium borohydride, the resulting product would be reduced to an alcohol. But this reducing agent won't be able to reduce other molecules like esters, carboxylic acids, or amides. No, for this you would need a strong reducing agent, like lithium aluminum hydride, to reduce molecules like esters or carboxylic acids into alcohols. The characteristics of an oxidizing agent follow a similar trend as reducing agents. An oxidizing agent is a reactant that will be reduced. Reduced means a gain of electrons. Since the reducing agent is gaining or accepting electrons, another compound is donating or losing those electrons. Examples of oxidizing agents are listed below. Sodium dichromate, chromium trioxide with a strong acid, chromic acid, potassium permanganate, peridium chlorochromate, and Tollens reagent, which consists of a solution of silver nitrate and ammonia. Notice the number of bonds to oxygen and the lack of bonds to a hydrogen, which is typical of an oxidizing agent. So it makes sense that it has a higher oxidation state. The examples given for reducing and oxidizing agents are very important to know and will be reviewed in detail in subsequent videos when predicting the products of oxidation and reduction reactions. But for now, let's apply this information to a question. Given a redox reaction, which must have both an oxidizing and reducing agent, you're asked to identify which is which. Beginning with A, start by taking a look at the reactant and comparing it to the related product. The initial reactant is a 6-carbon sugar, and carbon-1 of the sugar is changed from an aldehyde, which has two bonds to oxygen, to a carboxylic acid, effectively containing three bonds to oxygen. An increase in the bonds to oxygen means the sugar is being oxidized and is acting as a reducing agent. Tollens reagent, therefore, must be acting as the oxidizing agent, since it is causing the oxidation of the sugar. Let's do the same for B. Methane, on the reactant side, has four bonds to hydrogen, so its oxidation number is negative four. It's converted to carbon dioxide on the product side, which has four bonds to oxygen, so carbon is assigned an oxidation number of positive four. Negative four to positive four indicates that this molecule is donating or losing electrons to become more positive. Loss of electrons is oxidation, which means that methane is acting as a reducing agent for molecular oxygen. Conversely, molecular oxygen must be acting as the oxidizing agent since it's causing the oxidation of methane. Lastly, identify the oxidizing and reducing agent in C. Rather than looking at the reactant and assigning oxidation numbers or observing the bonds between oxygen and hydrogen, Take a look at the reagent. Lithium aluminum hydride is a reducing agent, as discussed earlier by the low oxidation state illustrated by the many hydrogen bonds. Since a redox reaction must have a reducing and oxidizing agent, then the reactant must be the oxidizing agent. You can double check your prediction and confirm the reactant is the reducing agent by comparing the carbonyl carbon on the amide group of the reactant to the related carbon on the product side. Notice the reactant lost two bonds to the oxygen on the product side and gained two bonds to the hydrogen. Therefore, NN dimethyl cyclohexane carboxamide is being reduced and is acting as the oxidizing agent. In this lesson, you learned how to identify the oxidizing and reducing agent. 
Make sure to familiarize yourself with the examples of oxidizing and reducing agents listed in the previous slides because they will be covered more in depth in later videos when predicting products.